Hello Taurus, welcome to your love reading. We're gonna be looking at what is coming your way in love. What do you need to know um, about what is headed your way in terms of love and relationships and who you might be dealing with. As always, keep in mind that these readings are general. They will not and cannot resonate with every Taurus watching. So take what applies to you. If this does not resonate, check out your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance from your birth chart because some of those messages can resonate more than your sun sign. Don't forget to check out the description box for um, the playlist to each of the zodiac signs so you can check out those other messages. All right, so let's jump right in for Taurus. Regarding love, what does Taurus need to know? regarding love and relationship okay so what's going on right now we have the three of wands five of coin strength reverse okay and what can you expect next we have the queen of wands reverse the page of swords and the wheel of fortune okay overall energy is the empress beautiful Taurus, what is it with you and Empress energy on my channel? I feel like every time that I do a reading for Taurus, the Empress shows up. Okay, so let's get some more energies. So I see that there is some sort of difficulty right now. Someone could be feeling very far away from their person, like there's um, distance between them. Someone could be feeling shut out, left out, abandoned struggling or feeling like they're struggling um like maybe they don't have the strength to deal with whatever is happening or they're not strong enough to deal with whatever is happening i feel like uh, whatever's going on right now in love you or this other person um that you're dealing with or could be dealing with in the future it's like you're waiting for things to turn around to improve now the overall energy is the empress which is a very beautiful energy about uh, abundance potential creativity and growth so this is someone that understands their value tell me more about what's going on for taurus in love moving forward i swear taurus and virgo always get this card what else for taurus spirit guided and protected what else for taurus what do we need to know for Taurus regarding love inner voice okay so spirit could be speaking to you about uh, some sort of move I, I always get these messages for Taurus can I get one more what else for Taurus what else? hope dreams and longing yeah I, I get the sense of someone hoping for whatever this potential is hoping for something better in the future hoping that they're being guided correctly hoping that their intuition is not steering them wrong hoping that things turn around and i do see that being a possibility because i have here the wheel of fortune some sort of momentum and movement headed your way here now this could be regarding you know and again i feel like taurus Every time I do a reading for Taurus, I don't know why on my channel, love is not very present or it's not like the most important thing. There's usually like, I don't know what collective is watching my videos, but it's almost like there's a difficulty in an existing connection and Taurus is all, almost like thinking of something else. And it doesn't matter, you know, what decks I use. <laughs> the message always comes out to something like this. So let's see if this is gonna be the case for Taurus in, in this reading. Tell me about the Empress. Tell me about the Empress. What's going on here? Five of Cups. Tell me about the Empress. Can you tell me about this? And the Hierophant, Taurus energy, there you are. Yeah, again, like difficulties in a connection, um, sadness, disappointment, feeling uh, lost, depressed. Um, but there's the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I, I get the sense that there's something better coming your way. But it took a while to get to you with the Three of Wands here. Let's see, what's this Three of Wands about? Why is the Three of Wands here? Yeah, Page of Pentacles. There's something coming in for you, Taurus. 
some sort of offer, opportunity. What's this Three of Wands about? There's Three of Wands here. Four of Cups and Strength. Some of you, this is, this is going to take courage to accept this new offer or opportunity. Others of you, you might miss this. I don't know why I get these readings for Taurus. Taurus, if this is resonating, please leave me a comment because sometimes I feel like, is this message for someone out there? I feel like some of you um, may not be interested in what's coming or maybe the offer is not exactly what you thought or there's some sort of compromise here. You could be dealing with a Leo or some, uh, you know, someone with Leo in their chart. You might have Leo in your chart, but I don't know. I feel like, yeah, Five of Swords is almost like some of you may doubt this offer or second guess it or question it. And so it's not, I don't see you jumping for joy with this offer or wanting to like grab it right away. There's the Eight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this is an internal thing, a mental block or a mental... Um, like maybe there's just fear, pure and simple. Tell me about the five of coin. This could even be someone coming in interested in you romantically. And maybe you're just not interested. Tell me about the five of coin. Yeah, seven of swords, six of wands. This is very interesting because this is someone, when I see the Seven of Swords with the Six of Wands, I think of someone that makes the wrong choice because they were more focused about how they would be seen. Yep, Nine of Cups. So, okay, I'm getting few, a few messages here. The first message I got when I saw the Seven of Swords and Six of Wands is what I was just talking about. It's like someone makes not the best choice or decides to do something in a different with a different approach and they're doing it because they care about what others see them do or what others think of them but this is the way that they can get whatever it is that they want others of you I don't know I get the sense that there's some sort of I don't know like um like like there's some sort of struggle I don't know if this is with a person a partner or co-worker or something like that and it's almost like you realize or you decide to take an approach that is seen as sneaky or behind the scenes you're doing things or doing th like for example this could be you this is just an example you're at work but you're secretly applying somewhere else whole different job and nobody knows about it your boss definitely doesn't right but this is the way that you feel like you can get out of your situation um something like that yeah there's the moon pisces energy i just picked up this deck i feel like whatever's happening though um it's going to require courage because strength is reversed so it's almost like you're not there yet or i don't know what's going on let me see why is strength reverse why two of swords the wheel of fortune again and the page of swords um, yeah, two of swords, undecided. And there's the eight of swords again, fear. Fear, stuck energy, wanting to look into things more. Um, it, it's, it's funny because once again, Taurus, I don't really see, there's no cards here that you can point to to say this is a love reading, right? This is a reading about a specific love situation. Um, I don't really see it. Not even, not in the oracle cards, <laughs> nowhere. Um, and so it's almost like there's something else that you're focused on. Even though I'm asking for a love reading and, and, and love messages, this is what Spirit decides to give me. I think that with Page of Swords, Two of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, it's almost like, you know, looking into something that will change things for you. But it's going to require that you overcome your fear. I don't know, Taurus. I don't know if this is like getting out of a relationship because I have the moving forward card or getting out of a job or, or changing careers or, you know, leaving a certain connection behind, whether it's a friendship or a, a business partnership. I see you wanting to move on somewhere where courage is required. Maybe even being a seven of swords is required. Page of Swords came up twice. Sometimes this card can be like, um, the Page of Swords is like the researcher. 
um, the networker. So, you know, this could be you looking into something, being curious about something, looking things up on the internet, applying online, or doing research, etc., etc., etc. I don't know, the Empress. I keep looking back at the Empress. Let me see, can I get one more for the Empress? Tell me about the Empress. Tell me about the Empress. Ace of Cups, new love, abundance, fulfillment, and there's strength again. It's like you're finding your worth or your value or thinking about your worth or value elsewhere um because you haven't been happy for some time five of cups or there's some sort of disappointment you're experiencing i think that this is you know this reading is for a taurus that's been you know maybe a bit down in the dumps you know things maybe haven't gone the way that they hoped or planned and then now it's almost like they're looking for a way to be fulfilled for a way to be inspired again um, it's like, you know, Taurus, I feel like you sense this, I don't know, like maybe this like eagerness, this urge to do something. You're being driven, but I don't know by what. Some of you could be driven by finding new love, finding love with the partner that you seek or deserve, you know, an empress looking for their emperor. Now, Queen of Wands is reverse. So strength reverse, I'm thinking the same kind of energy here. Four of Wands, interesting. I'm just gonna put it right here. Tell me about the Queen of Wands reverse. <coughs> Why is the Queen of Wands reverse? Ooh, the Emperor and the Page of Cups. Yeah. What was I just saying about an empress finding their emperor? Here it is. But the queen of wands is reverse. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, the lovers at the bottom of the deck. Aries energy with the emperor. Tell me about the page of swords. This could be somebody coming in. Tell me about the Page of Swords. What's this Page of Swords about? Why is the Page of Swords here? Seven of Pentacles, worry, anxiety over the future, <clears throat> planting seeds, hoping that they grow. This could be like you applying for jobs. Yeah, Nine of Swords, there's worry here. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. The Five of Pentacles again. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Taurus? The Devil, Capricorn Energy. Can I get one more? Four of Pentacles, some sort of restriction Okay, Taurus. Queen of Wands reverse. Now, typically for me, the Queen of Wands reverse is someone that doesn't, it is like the opposite of a Queen of Wands. So someone that's not very bold, doesn't really take action, isn't very like motivated. Um, Not very fun person. Typically too, the Queen of Wands reverse could be someone that craves attention. Um, they take action and then later they think about the consequences, right? So sometimes this can backfire. But what I see here is with the, especially when I see the Page of Cups and the Emperor, it's almost like there is possibly an Emperor-like energy coming towards you or someone that you meet in the near future or someone that just comes into your life with a cup and I sense that you are hesitant. 
it's like you're not really I feel like you're worried you don't have all of the information that you desire you're worried about the future with this person and I think it's because you're used to being stuck I don't think you know what it's it's almost like you don't really know I don't know it's like all maybe your relationships have not been good at all ever <laughs> And so when this emperor comes in, you're wondering if this is going to be more of the same. Let's see if that's true. Tell me about this emperor energy. Tell me about this emperor energy. Who is this emperor? What do we need to know about this emperor? For Taurus. The sun reverse. What do we need to know about this emperor? For Taurus. Eight of Wands reverse. Can I get one more? Ace of Swords. And the Emperor again at the bottom of the deck. So I think this emperor is going to want to have some sort of conversation with you, talk things out or talk about something, and you're worried about this. Maybe you're worried about what they're telling you. Eight of Wands reverse and the Sun reverse. Um, I feel like this is someone revealing something to you. Um, maybe revealing how they feel, revealing, you know, telling you that you know let's I, i'm interested in you or something like that um but i feel like i don't know it's almost like you need to be more open to this idea if you want this wheel to turn it's very interesting i feel like you need to trust yourself and some of you are finding a hard time doing that it's like you're not sure some of you I'm just going to say it. This is not a love interest. This is a future boss making an offer to you. And you're not sure if you have what it takes to try something new or to leave your company or to do whatever it is with this emperor um, person figurehead. Um, I, I feel like you need to be open to a new idea when it comes to your career for this to tr for things to turn around for you because what I see here is I see you unfortunately it's like if you're not, if you do not move forward things will not change and things have to change because you feel like they have to change so there's something coming in that you need to be bold enough to receive or to take you know, it's like you have to grab it. Others of you, I feel like this is a potential love interest. And you are not having, it's just like you're having a hard time opening up to this idea or receiving this person or being interested in this person. And I'm not going to sit here and be like, you have to be with them. Because of course, listen to your intuition. Your intuition will guide you here, you know. Um... Feel free to deny this person if you feel that they're not the one for you. But I think for most of you, this is someone that is very honest and upfront with Ace of Swords. However, maybe they took some time to talk to you because they didn't really know how you would take their communication. Um, and maybe they were right. Maybe they knew that you were, you know, having some sort of difficulties or something like that. But I feel like for you to be with this emperor, you have to be an empress, right? Like you would have to um accept the fact that you are an empress energy that you have worth you have value you can be with someone this for this to this level um and it's almost like some of you don't believe it and i feel like you you are that person the empress is not showing up all the time for no reason in your readings i'm gonna grab a soulmate oracle now i kind of want to see what that could be about for you Spirit, tell me about this emperor's energy towards Taurus. Towards Taurus. I am burdened by guilt and regret. And I am determined to make things right. Okay, so this could be somebody that you maybe already know. 
that wants to make things right with you. But, but I feel also that this person, they have like a similar background as you. Um, it's like they want to do things the right way this time. Maybe they weren't as successful in their previous relationship or whatever connection they're recently out of. And now they're, you know, trying to make it up to themselves because maybe they didn't do what they should have done. But I also get the sense that this could be somebody that you already know and have history with. And they might be coming in to talk to you to to attempt to make things right, um, which that has come up in recent readings. So that could very well be the case. But I feel like I'm reading for two different groups of Taurus. One, one group, um, this is somebody that is wanting to make things right with you. I compare everyone I meet to you is behind that um, because they see that you are someone that matches their energy. And so they want to make sure that they're on the right foot with you from the beginning. And then another group of Taurus, I feel like this could be somebody from the past that wants to make things right. Um, and you might be considering whether that's something you want to do or if you want to just, you know, do something else. But I feel like both groups of Taurus, Tauruses, Taurians, <laughs> I feel like regardless what group you fall under, the action that you need to take is the same. You need to really evaluate if this is something that you're willing to go after or not. If you do not go after it, then I don't see things changing in the near future, um, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. And then if you do go after it, things would definitely change for you. Taurus, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.